All right, guys, what we have here is a, just an overview of the Progressive Concrete System plugin uh, for PlanSwift. Um, when, when you purchase the plugin, uh, the, the tab that it installs is going to look uh, very similar to this, uh, de depending on what version you get. Uh, the, the items here, um, the, uh, the top four items here, um, uh, let's not worry about those for now. Those are... Uh, those are for only when we start doing the the, uh, the takeoff. Um, the the rest of the items from from uh, from the excavation and backfill on down. Uh, the, these items are only grouped in these folders um, for for purposes of just keeping things separate. Uh, so you, so you know where to look, know where to find them quickly. Uh, the, these folders the the names can be changed. The items within these folders. Uh, can be moved around and moved to other folders. Um, it, it will not change the functionality of them whatsoever. Um, so, so you can um, rename the folder, move things around as, as you like. Um, uh, along with the, the, the tab here with, with, the, uh, with all of the assemblies on it, uh, you're going to get a Microsoft Access database that is going to have um, all the material parts on it. Um, your your database will be named Progressive Concrete System. Um, I, I do strongly suggest you do not change that name, otherwise you will have uh, quite a few hours of your own time rerouting all the parts to find the database again. Um, the, the tables within the database are very self-explanatory um, by the name of the table. Um, and you can see the columns within each table um, in, in the information that provides um, all of the information provided is essential to getting all of the material parts to work correctly um, as they are selected uh, during your takeoff process. Um, new parts, uh, new material items can be added. Um, existing ones can be deleted. Um, uh, to add them, simply hit the uh, green plus button here at the bottom of the screen. Um, it will give you the option um, at the very top here to, to add one. Uh, when you do that, um, you do need to fill in every column that is already filled in. Uh, you will notice on some of the tables, um, as here with our expansion, not every column is filled in. Um, if, if we were going to add another, uh, another expansion in here, we would need to fill in every column that the previous expansion ones have filled in. Okay. Um, you do see that we have a couple here with it without a cost. Um, those are pretty rare items that uh, we pretty much price individually on each job. Uh, other than that, um, the only other column you can leave blank is the vendor. The vendor column is for your own internal purposes. Um, it is for use in the reports only. Other than that, uh, it serves no uh, no basic uh, functions. Um, so you, you do need to be sure to populate all the columns that are currently populated on like items. Otherwise, uh, there's a very good chance that your, uh, that your new part or material will not work uh, correctly. You may still get a quantity, um, but we cannot guarantee that that quantity will be accurate. Um, uh, likewise, to delete items, if you see something on the list that you know you will never use or, or do not want to see on your list anymore, select that item, simply hit the, the red uh, minus button. It will delete the record. Um, I believe it will ask you to confirm that uh, twice, I believe. And that, that will remove it from your list. Um, you can also um, add and remove items from your list. Uh, through your micro Microsoft Access database um, on, your, on your desktop or, or wherever you choose to save that at, um, it, it will be it will serve the same it will serve the same functions by doing so either way. Um, also, with your with your purchase of the plugin, you will get a handful of reports. Um, I understand that uh, we can't make a report to fit everybody's uh, needs, wants, and desires. The reports are very easy to make, guys. You just got to watch the PlanSwift videos. They tell you how to make them. Um, they are extremely powerful in what they do. Um, 
you know, uh, we're, we're only going to have a handful of them here for you. Uh, but there are, there, there's basically no end to what you can do with the reports. Okay. Um, I, I just have some very common ones that, uh, that, that we like to use. Um, but th this is not everything. Um, there's, like I say, there, there is no end to, to how you can uh, separate items in your reports. Um, it's just a matter of uh, how you have things uh, grouped. And that goes back to um, here on your templates tab, how you use the location, zone, and group folders. Um, See, another, another thing you're going to get with it is you're going to get a job file um, that is going to be put into your types tab. That file is going to look like this. Um, a, a lot of you aren't going to like to go through this every time, and, and you don't have to. You go through this one time, and you pre-select things, and they're already set for you. Okay. Um, the, there, there is no... Uh, really changing the, the size of this. It is automatically sized by the information in here. The reason it is so tall is because of the reinforcing, because of the options there. Um, otherwise, what you need to do is you need to go through and, and, and preset these items um, to to a default that will be used on every job, and, and they do have the ability to be changed after that yet. Uh, some of these are... are, are Many, most of these are very similar, straightforward. Um, you know, you go through them, look at them, see what they are, set them once, um, and if we need to, um, for each particular job, they can be changed. So, very straightforward there. Um, when you start a new job and and this tab pops up, you do not have to enter this information right away. Um, we can enter it when we're done doing your takeoff. We can enter it when you're doing your takeoff, before, after, whatever. Um, th these are things that will change globally throughout the job, and only this specific job. Um, but they will change everything all at once instead of having to go through and, and, and find each individual item and updating the information within that item. Uh, another folder you're going to get with your plugin. Um, in your types tab, it's called custom types here, and it's going to have everything in that folder, and it's actually going to have everything all the way down to here. It's going to have all that stuff in there. I very strongly suggest you do not start altering these parts unless you know what you're doing within PlanSwift. Uh, many of these parts are custom made. Um, uh, as you see here the, with the grid segment, the grid segment sections, those are custom made parts for the rebar grid that if you start to alter those, uh, we cannot uh, guarantee that the rebar grid will work properly uh, anymore. Uh, th that decision is up to you. Uh, if you do decide to start altering those, um, we can always get you back to the original, uh, but there will definitely be a fee for that. <clears throat> So edit these properties at your own risk. Um, all, all of these properties here are what drive uh, the plugin. All, all of the material, um, equipment, um, all of the linear area segment and count features within the plugin come from here. They do not come from the basic PlanSwift types. They are all custom types. Um, so any, any uh, features that you do wish to add or take off of those uh, would have to be done here in your custom types. Um, your, your job file here that you do get will only apply to any job that you load after you download the plugin. Any previously loaded job will not have these types on it. Um, you, you could add these types to it. Um, but they, they would not be in the format that you see them in here. Um, they, they would all be thrown on, on your general tab. All these other tabs would be missing unless you actually go in there, create those tabs, and organize everything, um, where I think uh, in most cases it would be a lot easier just to reload your job and bring the pages in again. 
So other than that, the, that's what you're going to get included with the plugin. Um, you can go ahead and look through all of your folders here. You can see what's in there. Um, your, your list and your database will come separately in an email from us. Um, that will not come with the actual plugin uh, through the PlantSwift plugin store. Um, there's just not the ability to do that at this time. Um, generally, we get the list out to you the same day um, or at the very latest, the, the next business day. Um, if for some reason we haven't gotten it to you, um, go ahead and shoot us an email. Um, and uh, we will we will try to get that out as quickly as possible. Um, but uh, like I say, generally the next business day we get those out. Um, so stay tuned for the next video. We will uh, get started on doing a takeoff here.